Hello guys. In these two years, there's many people ask me how to make that hair, and I'm gonna do it now. It's not hard actually, so yeah, just follow the tutorial. Let's go. Here is a quick tutorial of what is Ben and how Ben work in Model Batch. So here we create a three D plane, adjust texture selection, and we set its previous overs. We open the X plane. So here is how the blend work. When you turn on X axis, the object will be able to bend at X axis. You can also adjust the joint of it to adjust the X axis position. At part, you can select where the bend go. At custom bend sign, the higher is the value and it will look much grander. Today I'm going to use this skin and she's called Candy and make the by Scammer Summer. It is a really cute skin. Let's start with lower template and we're gonna choose Alex. And now we got our Alex, we input the skin. The skin will be shown in texture and set it as the main texture. She knows good way right now. And let's go to the next step. There will be a default hair when we know the Alex model. We need to keep it as the reference. And now let's hide it. Now select the head. Right click, add element. We need a flitty plane and a part. Remember to relamp it and put the flitty plane under the part. And now let's push the texture selection onto the hair. And now we need another texture. So open your paint.net. Open a new file. Set the texture as 64 and 64. And create a new layer and delete the background one. Go back to model bench and we need to save our model to a new folder. Draw the skin in the folder to paint.net. Go back to our empty texture and save it to the folder we just create. And now we need this hair texture to our empty texture. So copy it, save it. And the next step is to remove this cosmetic on the hair. Uh, we will do it uh, later on, so we don't need that anyway. And now we are splitting the hair apart. And now we move our texture selection to the hair we just split. Here I'm trying to adjust the hair position to get it uh, looks white. And now you see the blend is uh, not in the right way. So we're gonna make it lower. And it looks good now. And now I realize the hair is too short. So I copy the texture and make it bigger. And move my texture selection to it. And it looks good now. Let's do the rest of it. And now you need to do is copy and place, move it, and you can adjust the texture selection to make the hair longer or shorter. And I think there is too much space between the hair, so I scale it. And now I realize that the hair on the left side and the right side is not looking so well, so I make a little adjustment to it. Uh, the whole progress is uh, just keep trying and try to find the best way to make it look good. And it, it takes time and experience to find out, but it's fine. Yeah, everything just takes time, you know. And now I'm removing the hair on the skin. And now I just need to do a little bit adjustment to the hair. You can move the hair a little bit forward or backward to make it more 3D. And we are finished. The modeling part is uh, over. And now we need to do is to adjust the texture. Looking back to the reference, you can see it on the right side, it has some brown on it. So we are going to back to the texture and yeah, adjusting the color. Now this part is kind of boring and need a lot of uh, adjustment and time to test it out if it looks good or not. So I'm just going to speed it up and play it at the background. And the color adjustment is finished. She looks pretty good now. And now what we left is the left side, the top, the right side, and the back. 
let's repeat the progress at the beginning. Add the part, add the 3D plane. And now we are going back to texture, copy the hair, and select it as I do it on the screen. And do the texture selection as I do on the screen. It will make the hair look uh, much more 3D. It looks great now, but it's not over yet. And now we are going to adjust the blend with its band sign to make it look uh, much round. Go to preview, we can see it looks yeah pretty good. And yeah, we now need to repeat the progress three times. Three on the right side. And the back side of the hair. Luckily, I don't need to do any adjustment to the texture because the free side is the same. But we need to do the texture adjustment to the top side of the hair. So we copy it, place it, and after a few tests, I find out the best way to do it is uh, as the screen shows. And I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it looks the best. And now it's finished. Yay! This skin also have a long hair part, and a lot of thing you need to do is as the same as the beginning of the video. So I'm just gonna play at the background. And the long hair is finished. All we left is the cosmetic on the hair. And now it's finished. She looks very very pretty now. And here is the light room render for her. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from my video. And uh, I'm trying to push out more videos like this. And so just tell me what you want to learn and a comment. And I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.